Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 19th jQuery tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to start creating a new project and this is going to be a simple part portfolio. So if you're an artist or a photographer, you can share your works with the others. But if you're just a normal person like me, not a photographer or an artist, you will have a nice and fancy way to share your pictures and your uh, uh, photographs with the others. So uh, let's just go ahead and start creating a structure for our portfolio. So what we need, uh, I already have the folder images and I downloaded some images from the internet and I'll provide you the link or a zip archive or something so you can download it as well. So for now we need a folder for the CSS tiles, I usually uh, separate them into folders and the folder called JS for the JavaScript and we also need an empty HTML document of course as well as empty CSS files and JavaScript and we also need jQuery so I'll just go ahead to the previous tutorials folder and copy the jQuery file jQuery 1.9.1 1. Uh, so let's just go ahead and copy that and paste it to our work folder to the JS folder actually and then we uh, as I said we need an empty HTML document so I'm gonna create one um, right here I'll name it index.html so now we have an empty HTML document and but we are still missing uh, CSS and JavaScript. So we'll just go ahead and create a new file, go to the CSS folder, call it style.css and create a new file, go to the JS folder and I'll name it script.js. So now we have HTML, CSS and JavaScript and now we are ready to go. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and start writing the HTML code for our web page. And if you guys want only to learn jQuery, uh, you can actually skip this tutorial and, and proceed right to the next one. Because in this tutorial, I will only create an HTML structure and some styles for the portfolio. But if you still want to have fun and uh, learn how to create um, a web page with images and stuff very quick, you can follow along. Uh, so for the title, let's just go go ahead and say jQuery portfolio. And when I usually start uh, making a web page, I um, I start from the top and go to the bottom. So the first thing I, I would create would be a header, and usually it's just a div element. And I sometimes I just say its ID should be a header. And um, then we need uh, something called a wrapper. So div, hold on, sorry, div id equals wrapper. And inside of this wrapper, we would have um, an ul element called um, portfolio. And inside of this ul elements, we'll have. Um, just list elements. Well, UL stands for unordered list, and inside of this unordered list, we can have uh, list entries, and every list entry will be a picture. And let's let me count how many pictures we have. We have uh, six plus two, eight eight pictures, so we can create eight uh, list entries. So now now we have eight list entries, and inside of every list entry, uh, we'll have an image tag. Um, image. Well, this alt property is not very relevant, but it's standard, so um, you usually would have this alt. And what this alt is, if your image cannot be loaded for some reason, the browser will display this image text, th this text instead of the picture. So, image, and let me rename the, the images real quick so that I can easily add them to the web page. I'll just go ahead and do like this. 
7 and 8. Yep. And now we can say images. I'll just copy this images, paste it everywhere. And image 1, image 2, image 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And don't forget to add the, the extension which is JPEG, JPG. So, hold on. Um, now if we take a look at our web page, we'll see all these pictures uh, listed like this. Of course, we don't want to have them like so. We'll create a better way for it. And this is something what we are going to do in the next tutorial. So in the next tutorial, uh, I hope we'll finish the uh, the user interface. I mean, the the appearance of the portfolio. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.